everyone, Comic Book Pixie here, and welcome to another Nerdy Mondays! Alright, so, um, I was supposed to do this video last week, but I saw a post on Facebook, I got angry, I had to do a rant video. It happens. But, um, this week I'm gonna be doing the video I was supposed to do last week, so I'm a week behind, but that's okay. Um, it's called the Weird Facts Tag. That sounds so exciting. Alright, so I actually didn't know much about this tag. I've seen it done in, like, other videos and whatnot, but, um, I never actually, like, took time to actually, like, listen to what the questions were that they were being asked. So I looked it up, and it looks like it's going to be pretty fun. Um, I have 15 random questions. I'm supposed to do this at night, so I'm kind of cheating. But, um... Yeah, um, you have 15 questions, and you're supposed to answer them, and all of these questions are, like, really random and weird, and I guess basically, like, getting to know you questions, which is awesome, because, you know, I like to get to know all my viewers, so I figured I'd tell you a little bit about myself. So, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so, question number one. What is a nickname that only your family calls you? Oh gosh, I had a lot of nicknames growing up, um, my real name is Carly, so my sister called me, she calls me Car, and she's like the only one that's allowed to call me that, like I've had a lot of people try to call me that, and it's like no, no, that, that's specifically like reserved for my sister, um, apart from that, my dad used to call me Midge because I was so tiny. Um, I hadn't hit my growth spurt till I was 12. Um, so, like, Midge would be, like, sand for, like, midget. Um, yeah, apart from that, my mom didn't really ever really call me any nickname. So, yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> um, number two, what is a weird habit that I have? A weird habit that I have is that when I'm trying to focus in class, I tend to just, like, I don't really scratch my scalp, but I just kind of, like, run my fingers through my hair, like, and I just kind of tend to just, you know, go like that. I constantly have to be doing something with my hands. Um, I don't know, it just keeps me focused. Um, I know a lot of people that knit, but I've tried and I can't. Um, so I guess this is just, like, an alternative, like, I'm knitting my hair. As weird as that sounds. Okay, question number three. Do I have any weird phobias? See, I don't know if you would call it a weird phobia. I'm really scared of clowns. Like, I don't scream. I just start bawling my eyes out. Um, but yeah, like, that's not really that weird because as far as I know, that's really common. Um... So, yeah, that's about it for that one. Um, number four, what is a song that you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're home alone? Okay, this is probably really embarrassing. I know that some of you are probably going to hate me for this, but it's my childhood. Okay. How many of you have heard of the movie The Swan Princess? Okay. Okay. I tend to love to blast the song and sing it, like, at the top of my lungs um, for longer than forever, which probably isn't that embarrassing, but I tend to put in my own words. Like, there was one time I'm, like, cleaning, and it's like, if I could, this is probably going to come out awful because it's just, like, spur of the moment. If I could clean my bathroom... I'd get to go outside because it was like beautiful out and I was like 12 and I had to do that for to get money because I didn't have a job yet but yeah and now I just constantly like do that or I sing one of the songs that I claim I hate but I actually kind of sort of love it's like my guilty pleasure and I know it's an awful song but I just I don't know what it is it's just so gosh darn catchy that it's like I have to sing it it's cruise by Florida Georgia Line, and it's just, like, the lyrics are so bad. They're so bad, but it's just, like, I don't know, it's just so catchy that I have to sing it. Um, 
I lost my place. There it is. Okay. Number five, what is one of your biggest pet peeves? Okay, this gets sound awful, but I have a lot of them. So my biggest pet peeve, probably going back from when I was in middle school and people used to not stick gum in my hair, but on my head. Um, I hate when people chew gum really obnoxiously behind me. Like, I get so paranoid and it grosses me out because it's like, what if you spit on my hair? And it just, it really grosses me out. Another thing that's one of my biggest pet peeves is probably like when people tend to like crack their backs or neck in front of me. I don't know, that sound just grosses me out. Like I just can't stand it. Um, and number six, what is one of my nervous habits? Okay, I tend to like, when I get really nervous, I tend to rub my hands together. Like I'm not sure why, it just kind of calms me. Or I crack my knuckles, which I know is kind of sounds a little hypocritical. Um, going back to question six. I'm sorry, question five. I can't count today. Um, going back to question five, which was like, what's one of my biggest pet peeves? But I don't do it loudly. Like, I tend to just like really quietly crack my knuckles. I don't know why. It's probably awful for me. But yeah. Number eight. Or I'm sorry, number seven. Wow. <laughs> what side of the bed do you sleep on? I sleep on the right side of the bed, and I don't know why. I guess it's just always been a preference. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say about that. Number eight, um, what was my first stuffed animal and its name? My first stuffed animal that I can remember was a brown bear that my great-grandma gave me when I was two. And I don't think I named it. If I did, I can't remember it. But I would sleep with it every night, and it was like my baby. Um, and yeah, I can't remember what its name was. My first animal I can remember that I named was a builder bear that I still have named Sweetie. That's a koala bear that I got when I was six. Number nine, what is a drink that you always order at Starbucks? the chai tea latte or the green tea latte and I have a lot of friends that give me a ton of crap for ordering the green tea latte but I can't have that much caffeine like it hurts me in a weird way that I don't really want to describe to you all um I don't know I just I love it because it's like I guess it's just because I like green tea I've always liked green tea um but the chai tea latte is always my go-to one for like Christmas or even summer when I can get it iced um, yeah. Number 10, what is the beauty rule that I preach but never actually practice? That's probably, that's like really hard because I don't really preach any beauty rules. Um, I guess it doesn't really count because I don't do this, but I always tell people not to buy hair care products at like department stores. Because that's, like, actually really bad for you. Like, they dilute it with all this stuff. I know because my sister is a beautician and she told me never to do that. Um, at department stores, they always, like, dilute their products with, like, water or different, like, types of, like, stuff to make them, um, like, to make you run out of them faster. And it can actually, like, damage your hair. Um, I only did that one time and it was because I was, like, out of, um, like curl gel or whatever and I had to go to the dollar store and get it and it like wrecked my hair like my hair felt like how can I it felt like a haystack it was disgusting um what way do I face in the shower can I say both because, like, when I'm washing my hair, I face outward, but when I'm, like, washing my body, I face inward, and it depends on what I'm doing. So, I don't know if that's, like, I'm breaking a rule, but I'm going to say both. I face in and out. Do I have any weird body skills? I can touch my tongue with, I can, wow, I can touch my nose with my tongue. Um, that's about it. What is my favorite comfort food? Excuse me when I adjust myself. 
from all that grossness on my nose. Um, what is my favorite comfort food that is bad, but I still love to eat it anyway? I have this weird affinity for, like, cheese fries. Like, when I'm having, it, it sounds really weird. Like, when I'm having a really crappy week or something tragic happens, I will get this weird craving for cheese fries. Or, like, anything with, like, melted cheese. Like, it sounds so weird, but I don't know. I guess it's just, like, the consistency tends to, like, comfort me. I don't know. It's weird. I just tend to like it. Maybe it's because I'm, like, an emotional eater, but I'm not really one, so I don't really know. Um, what phrase or exclamation do I always say? <sighs> I don't know. I've been told I say a lot of things a lot. Um, I tend to say you feel, I feel that. A lot like when I'm talking to somebody and they're like oh so you know I can't do this without that and I say yeah I feel that um, or even like in conversation like when they're like oh well I can't do this today because of this and I feel like I got a stuff a ton of stuff to do and I'll say like yeah I feel that um, I tend to, I blame my friend Ariel for that because she's the one that started saying it and that I developed saying it and I only realized like a few months after I like met her and she was like Carly you say that a lot like more than I do and I was like oh you did a bad thing man like now I say that all the time um and this is the one where I'm cheating because it says time to sleep what am I wearing um well because it's only like 440 here um I'm still wearing my normal clothes so I'm wearing shorts a tank top and a vest and these really cool like peace sign earrings and a compass necklace which is my like good luck charm um so yeah I guess like if I was doing this at night I would say I'm wearing my invaders in pajamas because that's what I'm wearing now I'll probably change them like within like two more days because I tend to like swap every like three days because you know, just hygiene and shit like that. But yeah, that's um that's all the questions. Thank you to Catherine Juiced for um tagging me in this video. And yeah, I guess I'll see y'all next week. Bye. Love you.